Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. For this week's reading, I'm gonna start first with a channel message followed by tarot and then I have an oracle deck here, okay? So as always, these are general readings, so take the parts that resonate with you and let the rest go. Uh, I also wanna wish all you guys a very happy Mother's Day, okay? So let's get into the reading. So this channel message is what I channeled last night. I have it here in my journal. So I'm going to read it out to you guys first. Okay. So as I started channeling, I saw a jaguar in my mind's eye. Okay. And jaguar is all about courage and inner strength. So this is the message I channeled. You are waiting to make the right moves. You have gathered your strength and this is your season. If you are a mother, you are very protective of your children. And if, if you don't have children, you are protective over your assets and everything you built for yourself. There is constant fear that someone will take away literally snatch away everything you have worked hard to build but why why you sorry but what you are forgetting is that now you are a jaguar sorry guys sometimes i can't even read my own handwriting so forgive me for that okay so i'm going to read this again but what you are forgetting is that now you are a jaguar you have power and strength. You are more powerful than you realize. I see you leaving your town, city, connections, home to find better. You have been depleted. Now I'm seeing a parched land waiting for the rains. You have been so patient, patiently waiting for your turn for things to change. I'm seeing someone looking at their face and body in the mirror. So much has changed, but you have more gratitude and love for your body than you did before. Your body has a story to tell. You must learn to listen to your body. Your body is tired. It has purged so much. You had held tensions in your body for so long. You have a great desire to please others. A lot of depletion in your body has happened because you over care. You've extended yourself to places, people and things that don't deserve your attention. Now I'm seeing a car. Someone is going on a road trip. This will be short and good. At night, remember to place your hands on your heart bring your love back to you okay so this is the message that i had channeled last night and it was very interesting the way everything unfolded okay uh what i also found interesting was uh you know the last part i channeled about the body okay and uh, i don't know about you but you know what i felt was one of my actually my candles just blew out so i don't know what this means but what I felt is, uh, you know, what I've been feeling, especially with this Mercury retrograde, and I was telling this to my family, is literally like my heart, I feel like my heart cracked open and there's like this liquid, because I, I was seeing this in my mind's eye, there's this liquid coming out of it. And I felt like I, I must be going through some kind of a great purge or something like that. I don't know, this retrograde felt very intense, okay, to me. Uh, more intense than any other one. I feel more balanced now, but I was feeling it for at least two days was very strong, but I was feeling it for a couple of days. Anyways, the candle blowing out is another sign of, you know, things shifting and changing for you and certain things 
need to end or close out, okay? Now we're gonna get into the tarot cards and we're gonna see what comes up. Uh, as always with my readings, take the parts that resonate with you and let the rest go, okay? What messages need to come for the collective? What messages need to come for the collective? What needs to be shared? I feel more like six cards. We've got four here. Can we get one more, please? One more. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, one more. Okay. Alrighty, so let me just move my notebook out of the way. So I'm gonna show you guys the cards. We start with the Four of Pentacles, okay? Then we have the Hermit, the Fool, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords, okay? So just give me a moment as I tune into this and see what's coming through. Some of you are really struggling with money, okay? Some of you are really struggling with money. You're trying to kind of uh, like protect your assets or protect your money. You, you, or there could be this fear that you're going to lose it all, okay? I also feel like this is you in the past. You see how he's hiding behind the coin, okay? This is you. Uh, you may have always taken like the back seat, just, you, you see how this coin is literally covering him. So, uh, you know, just holding back. It's like holding back your emotions, holding back your personality, really shutting yourself down uh, to fit in, to be, uh, you know, it's like you're present, but you're not present. You could be sitting in a gathering, not not speaking a word you're there but you're not there kind of that's the feeling that i'm getting uh you know not seen not heard just just there okay uh but this is your past position okay with the hermit right next to the four of pentacles you see how wise and you know like an alchemist this person is a wise soul is a sage okay is a mystic so and um uh, I don't know, he, she, I, it, it looks like a she, doesn't gender, doesn't matter in um, uh, tarot, okay? So she's holding a snake. You are very powerful, okay? You are very powerful because the snake medicine is very powerful, okay? Uh, you, you can transmute your energy. Now, what I'm getting with this is maybe you grew up with a lot of low self-esteem maybe people around you that did not um, make you feel appreciated make you feel seen make you feel valued in any way and you felt like you know you're, you're not worth anything or you're you're this just invisible person okay like you you don't you're just taking up space or you're you're not worthy of uh, love or attention or whatever it is okay a lot has changed for you from that time you may have had experiences where you really had to go deep within yourself to tap into this uh, you know this alchemical this powerful mystical 
power within you okay because it was always with the snake it's like it was always in you and you needed to find it yourself now you needed to go on your own journey to figure out who the hell you are and what you're all about uh, okay now behind the scenes actually you tried very hard to fit in okay but even when you tried hard to fit in you're not quite fitting in because you are this sage you are this mystic okay you hold a lot of power okay spirit is guiding you to to trust your new journey to trust your soul's calling and not be trapped in um, you know the old ways of thinking and doing things okay but still you are still very confused uh, for some of you this could be money that you know because of money struggles or um, money issues that you are confused which which is the right path what should i do one day you're saying this the other day you're going in another direction i don't know there's like this this element of uh, back and forth okay like not being sure is this the right path is that the right choice i don't know that's really the energy that's coming through okay uh, now even though you are confused in your mind you are going through a very big shift you are going through a very big change in your life okay behind the scenes you are working very hard you are working very hard and uh, not everyone may be able to see that you are putting in the hard work you are doing uh, you know whatever it is you need to do to get the ball rolling for you but you you're doing it you're putting the efforts but not maybe maybe not everyone can see you do this inner work okay now with this page of swords this gives me a very different vibe okay it's like you know you are talking with the universe this this page of swords almost gives me the magician vibe you know the way she's holding the sword the way she's looking at the star you are like you have a lot of faith in yourself that i can make something out of nothing i do believe that i do believe i have the tools okay and you are asking the divine to show you the way to show you the answer to make this miracle happen for you see you you were always very powerful but a lot of because you were surrounded by people who either had low self esteem themselves they were in the old programming they were in the lack mentality they wanted you also to hold the same mentality okay as them but you've gone through a lot of shake ups in your life you've gone through situations that challenged you so that you can tap into this energy this is the crone energy this is the mystic energy okay so that that awakens in you something awakens in you where you realize that all the shortcomings in my life i can change it by changing my own thinking and not being stuck in these uh all ways of doing things restrictive thinking whatever family patterns or things or dysfunction that was passed i no longer want to subscribe to that okay so this is what is happening okay let me pull some more cards on this because now i'm very curious okay so spirit what else needs to come through we have the queen of cups we have the three of pentacles and we have the justice you you want soul fulfillment you want things that bring you joy period okay 
for some you're gonna you're gonna go in um, three different directions when it comes to finances okay by that what i mean three streams of income or uh, three different opportunities that you're going to explore for yourself okay There could be people in your life who don't want you to leave them or who don't want you to venture out in this new direction that you are wanting to explore. They may be trying to energetically also hold you back. So if you are feeling like that, you need to do some cord cutting. Right now in your life, major changes are happening. And you may be confused, but you have to trust the higher plan, okay? Because everything is unfolding in its own way. Uh, you see with this Queen of Cups also, she has different cups in front of her. You may be confused of the options, you know, like I said before, which option would be the right option, which direction is the right direction. You may be doing some soul searching at the moment. Now with the justice, I feel things are going to be balanced out. Things are going to go in your favor, okay? So you have to trust the process and you have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. See, you are very magical. You are very mystical. You go deep within and you do a lot of soul searching. You are connected with the divine, okay? You see how this crown chakra is open, okay? You receive downloads when it comes to your next steps, next direction, what should I do? You are breaking free from karmic chains, karmic patterns and things like that. Like I said earlier, one of my candles also blew out as I was doing the reading, okay? There is something that needs to be ended. There is a pattern that needs to be ended and you need to move forward, okay? Right now, I do feel again with the justice card and the way her hair is, you know, covering her face. It's almost like you may be by yourself and these struggles may be very internal, okay? And but there are so many shifts happening for you, okay? There, is, there are so many shifts that, like I said, uh, people may not be even aware that you are going through all these shifts, okay? They may be seeing you a certain way. They may not know that this is what you're going through. Just like, you know, like I mentioned in the beginning that I was going with this, uh, experiencing this, like a, you know, like a, my heart chakra cracking open and all this liquid flowing out. And I know that this is all purging out all energies and stuff that I don't need anymore. And literally my heart was like this chest area was literally hurting, but it was all energetic. It's not like I need to go to the doctor for this. I knew it was happening on an energetic level where I was purging. And like I said, an onlooker that cannot know that this is what I'm experiencing or experienced recently, right? In the same way, I feel in your reading, internally you are going through so many shifts that maybe uh, people around you may not even know that this is what you're struggling with. But this is so powerful, guys, with the hermit and the snake. I feel this shift is so powerful. See, um, when it comes to choices, also, you are very scared when it comes to this decision, decision because it's it almost, see, I can't speak. I'm, I'm tripping on my words. So this is another thing where... You may want to do a certain thing, but you're not sure if this is going to be the right thing because it could be because you're scared of a financial loss. For some, you are scared on how people are going to perceive you if you make this choice or this decision. How are people going to like people are going to judge you for this? That's also the other thing I'm getting. But you are very connected to spirit and spirit is guiding you in a new direction okay and you're listening to spirit that's all i can say is you're listening to spirit and there is some kind of justice coming to you 
you may have to work on your fears okay you may have to work on your fears big time because fear is the only thing that is stopping you okay so now i'm going to see what this this is this oracle is called sacred power reading cards okay i'm using that sacred power reading cards okay we have angel assistance. I love this. Angel assistance and then we have rest. Okay. And there's a dolphin here. Okay. Dolphins are all about our inner child and being free spirited and light. I really feel this is your energy where you want to be free. Free from all this, uh, you know, past programming patterns bullshit basically is what i'm getting you want to be free from all the past bs and you want to move forward free you know just like this dolphin is swimming you know freely and so openly that is what you are truly desiring for yourself and with this angel assistance i feel like your angels are working with you you are not alone even if you feel alone you are not alone they are guiding you they know what you want what you are desiring the changes but it's like in divine timing okay let me see if i'm getting anything else with this rainbows may be significant significant archangel metatron or the metatron cube may be significant to you okay uh you may be working with crystals or you want to manifest something and uh, you know you can work with crystals to manifest that into your life okay some of you could be literally channelers or wanting to work with angels okay that's also what's coming through see what i'm getting from these two cards is your angels and guides are you know, you see how there's not just one dolphin, there is another and then there are dolphins at a distance, okay? Your angels are guiding you to your soul tribe, to people who are vibing on the same wavelength, who speak your same language, who understand you, who, who won't question you, who won't challenge you, who won't doubt you when you say something. You know, with some people you have to explain and then explain again and explain again. And you, those are not your people where you have to keep explaining and explaining and still they don't get you, okay? But your angels are guiding you to people to your soul tribe okay to your soul tribe to your soul fulfillment to your happiness again with the water you are purging you are purging a lot of old energies spirit wants you to rest spirit wants you to drink more water spirit wants you to be conscious what i'm getting also with this card is be more conscious what are you tuning into okay if you're watching a youtube is this youtube video adding to your energy or depleting you so pay attention to that i also feel while you are sleeping your angels and guides are clearing a lot of your energy okay especially your crown chakra i feel i'm getting that you pick up on a lot of energies of others that are not even yours and sometimes you you hear negative thoughts in your mind and you think that's yours but you you're like uh you know you're like a radio station you're tuning into different frequencies which are uh kind of blocking your uh, intuition actually nobody can block your intuition but it, it just causes an interference okay uh, when you sleep you can set the intention with your guides and angels to clear your energy okay the other message i'm getting is also work on clearing your chakras okay that may be something you want to look into now i'm just gonna pull one card before we close out okay so spirit is there anything else that needs to come through Oh, wow. I just spoke of chakras, right? And we have these chakras here. <laughs> I can't be making this up. So we have energy balance. Yeah. So some of you do feel like, you know, you feel tired or you feel, um, you know, uh, like you don't feel very balanced. So that's something that you need to work on. And it's interesting as I pulled this card, you know, my, uh, I kind of went back uh, with this uh, energy balance. So I remember when I was first into 
energy healing and going for these energy healing classes and things like that, right? I started my journey with Reiki. So the first thing that I noticed with these, uh, when I was doing these healings was my third eye, we would pound and my crown chakra and I would, you know, go to my teacher and say, oh my God, I can't take it. My third eye is pounding and my uh, crown chakra, I'm feeling so many energies. What do I do? So she told me that I have to ground my root chakra, okay? She said, you're very active up top, but you have to balance your root chakra and still remember that uh, these words so you know so that is something so you will you will understand which chakra which energy center needs more attention and it varies right and you see how these chakras they kind of light up right and they need to be balanced so a lot of times you know spiritual people they will focus on the third eye they will focus on the crown chakra which is great but the lower chakra is the root chakra uh, your sacral your solar plexus all these things need to be balanced for the energy to flow okay so that's very important uh some of you, you could be into yoga or uh, you can become a yoga teacher okay uh, and that is your path where you teach yoga you guide others there could be something with nutrition health crystal healing energy healing all these things are coming up meditation is coming up okay and you are being guided in that direction where you will be a teacher and you will be assisting others and teaching others about these modalities okay and we have bottom of the deck we have freedom i love this so you see this yin and yang energy this white and black horse you're balancing your light and shadows okay you are accepting all parts of yourself i'm going back to this card okay uh, you may have suffered, like I said, hiding parts of yourself, uh, repressing, you know, uh, if you felt, let's say somebody does injustice to you, you felt, uh, you know, bad expressing your anger to them or showing that, uh, you know, you didn't like a certain thing or you didn't like their behavior, their attitude, and you may have repressed all those things in the past. But now it's like you are you are expressing your light and you're expressing your shadow you're not you you're accepting yourself for who you are you're accepting yourself that yes i am light and i also have dark attributes and they are in union okay and they are balanced and this makes you unique this makes you powerful okay uh, when you're tapped into your shadow when you're tapped into your light this brings another level of freedom, okay? And horses could be significant. Horse could be your guide, okay? When horses show up, that means you are uh, working in partnership with spirit and spirit is leading you in the right direction. So you are being led, okay? And with that, my friend, I'm going to end uh, this week's channeling. I hope this helps you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.